Today we're enjoying a classic tradition of tea and shortbread cookies with a very special twist, shall we say. Celebrity chef and cookbook author Sarah Moulton is with us this morning, as well as Jackie Walker, part of the fourth generation Walker family, producers of the famous Walker shortbread cookies that we have all grown up with. Good morning. Hi. hi. I'm so glad you're here. <laughs> well, last time you made me a va va voom recipe food. Now it's va va voom dessert food oh, and yes. cookies. Oh, yes. It's tea time. <laughs> tea time. Mm -hmm. You really must have a lot of memories growing up with tea and cookies in your family. Tell me about it. Shortbread has always been a huge part of my life since I was a little kid. And my dad used to come home from work with all the new product developments and gather us all around the kitchen table. And we do a little taste paneling. So my dad really enjoyed the input from us and we loved being asked our opinions. So and it was you, always really fun. You have memories of I your family? Well, actually, I've developed a dessert in honor of my mom. And we <gasps> had tea and cookies every wow. afternoon. Thanks, Sarah. Yes. And so this is um, a couple of different ice creams. It's sort of a hot, cold dessert. You put hot double chai tea on top of the ice creams. And my favorite oh, of all the Walker shortbread, the ginger stem biscuits. Mm -hmm. And my mom. And my mother loves crystallized ginger also. God but I'd come her. home every afternoon after in high school, and you know, like around three or four, and mom would have cookies and tea waiting. Oftentimes it was walkers, because we just loved them. And she would listen to everything bad or good that had happened that day. I love it. And tell me the history. I mean, how did it start? It started a long time ago, over 100 years ago. <laughs> my great grandfather had a small bakery, small village bakery in the highlands of Scotland. And really, it just developed from there. The bakery grew, everyone loved the products, and then we soon started producing all these wonderful biscuits. And that's the history. I love your accent, by the way. Yes. OK, so tell me what we're going to be making. All right, uh, well, so that is one dessert that's really fun. And But I've got a blueberry tart. Mm. And I use the Walker's vanilla yeah. shortbread for the crust. So the tart shell has three ingredients. You're looking at them, 12 Walker shortbread vanilla cookies, uh, four ounces of almond paste, and one egg. And I've already, and you just do it in a food processor, I've ground up the cookies and the almond paste in here. Okay, so that's all ground up. And then, after you do that, you just add a lone egg, and miraculously, the whole thing comes together. Wow. Okay, I'm just gonna start it so I don't make a terrible mess. It takes a minute, but eventually it comes together in a ball. See, it's getting very thick. Look at that. Yeah. And it's, it's like a nice paste. And what you do is you take this and you smush it into the bottom of a tart tin. Then you chill it for a couple hours because it's very soft, or just an hour. And that's what it looks like after it's chilled. You see how I smushed it? Good thing to do with kids. You know, <laughs> I told you, my kids would love to smush, smush, Play doh. <laughs> okay, but then the way we bake it is called blind baking. So we're putting in some foil, and these are pie, well, this is rice. You can use pie weights, which are little metal guys, or rice or dried beans. You put it in a 350 degree oven, 20 minutes, like this, I've five minutes, seen that. you take it out, and then you end up with a pre-baked crust. Oh, how you fabulous. You see, and this way it's nice and crisp. We don't want to lose that yummy crispness mm. of the shortbread. And so now here's the filling. Very quickly, I'll take you through it. I got some blueberries, cornstarch, water, and sugar in here. And you cook it till it pops and looks like this. Isn't mm -hmm. that gorgeous? Oh, um, and then we add a little bit of lemon rind. I love lemon. By the way, you could use regular, any of the Walker's regular shortbread flavors, shapes, or the lemon is great in this dough, too. And some lemon juice. Okay. I learned so much with her. I make really simple desserts. This may not seem so simple, but it really is. The ingredients are, you know, just, you have to chill and stuff. And then we add raw blueberries to it. So we've got the cooked and the raw. And um, so you've got the nice crunch, and the cooked is like the glue. And who says that's not healthy? Antioxidants all the way. I know. And then you stir it up a little more than I did. It goes right into oh, the yeah. prepared crust. And you can even put it in hot because we crisped our um, shell. It's, it's all is good. And then you can either eat it right away <laughs> or you can chill it. It sets up even more. So you've got to try my blueberry tart. Wow. I got to tell you, not only is it beautiful, I know it's going to taste delicious, but you know, it really looks like it took a lot of time and ingredients, and it really doesn't. Not at all. Sarah. And you know the thing we didn't talk about is how 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 simple the cookies are. I mean, what goes into these cookies? Well, they're all natural ingredients. It's just four ingredients: butter, sugar, flour, and a pinch of salt. So all natural, no preservatives. And I know you've got lots of recipes to offer too. Yes, they're all on the um, WalkersUS.com website. Oh gosh, thank there you, you go. so much for sharing that history. Thank you. God Thanks. bless your entire family. Yes. Thank you as always. You always have the best recipes well, I had for so me. so much fun playing with this. And to find out more about Walker's shortbread line of products, please visit the website, and that's WalkersUS.com. WalkersUS.com. This is scrumptious.